Welcome to Rudy's Room, the one hour break in your day, and this is a very special edition, Rude Rangers, all you great fans of our show. It is the Rudy's Angels edition, because you know what? I've been blessed to have some great people in my life, but there are three fantastic women that are here with me tonight. Um, ladies, on the count of three, because I just loved the TV show back in the day, will you please say hi, Rudy? One, two, three. Hi, Rudy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it. Okay. I you can not see me. You can't see me. Well, I know. I know. Listen, listen. Uh, Charlie had it all wrong. It's a little bit different. Okay. Let's all tell America who you are. So up first, Angel, okay. number, oh, one. number one. Uh, well, I am Verdell Jones, the host of Conversations with Verdell Jones, and I am so excited to be here on Rudy's Room. You can check out Conversations with Verdell Jones on Thursdays at 7 o'clock. Yes, you can. We have great guests. And it's a very educational. It show. is educational. More educational than this. <laughs> and I, I can see that. I can see that. Yes. But we, we, we try to have a little bit of fun. You but, do. You know, it's really important for me to be able to share um, what other people know Absolutely. with the viewers. Absolutely. So that's really important to me. Yes. So. Very educational. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful show. Thursdays, Strong Island TV. Check it out. Up next, Angel I, Number Two. Angel Number Two. I'm Stephanie Larkin. I'm the host of Between the Covers. Love that title. It is Let's just let that hang. Before I, before I you came to the it. right show for that. <laughs> before I ruined it with the show for readers and uh, writers and lovers. You just books. lost half my audience. I know, I know. All of Miami just tuned out. <laughs> okay, so so we're about books, but mm -hmm. we're about books and wine and yep. and lots of interesting books. Very interesting. We books. do we do interesting books. We mm -hmm. do we do educational books. Yes. Yeah. yes and yes, we yes. are what you're doing between the covers when you're not doing the other things, things. between the covers. <laughs> But sometimes you need to read the books to learn to do more between the covers. But we will cover that, that later. There is that. So yes. you can tune in on yes. uh, Wednesdays uh -huh. at 7 o'clock to catch Between the Covers. Or go to BetweenTheCoversTV.com mm -hmm. to catch all of our past episodes, link to our authors, because we are so blessed to have featured authors every week on the show. Yes, you do. And they are just fabulous. And we have had Rudy on the show. So. I have. That's when the show took a nosedive. <laughs> but we have on the show. We have. We're yes. going to have Stephanie on Stephanie's the show. Stephanie's got to come on. Make us all the Beautiful. Absolutely. So, you know, we read, but we have fun too. We do, we do. And Angel number three, who is giving me Farrah Fox. I love it. Totally. Don't you leave this show. <laughs> well, my name is Stephanie Jones, and I am the co host of Make Up Your Life. Mm -hmm. And our show airs on 8 p.m. Sundays, mm -hmm. and we give deserving men and women free makeovers. So, if you know anyone out there that, you know, is in need of a makeover, over. They could be a little busted, or you know, maybe they're going <laughs> busted. <laughs> nominate, 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 please nominate. <laughs> I love that. Well, you three are fantastic. You are definitely my angels. You're also Aww. fantastic, Rude Rangers. And as I've said before, Rude Rangers are fans of our show. They like our show. They share our show. They help spread the word and make this movement go viral. There's one particular Rude Ranger who stands out from the rest this week, and that person is Rude Ranger of the week. And I believe that is. Tim Mullaly from uh, Warwick, New York. I think oh, we have an image nice. of Tim. Woo. Tim, if you're out there, we do have you, Tim. Tim. We appreciate you. Oh, so please, oh, yeah. yes, I know. Hey, the Style hey. Council in Warwick, New York. Tim is quite the character. Wow. You have until the end of our show to give nice. us a call. 516-945-9099. We have a cash prize for you. Um, so that's very, very important. Okay. But before we do anything else, we certainly have to do our Rude Ranger Pledge. Oh, yes. So ladies, hold up your right hand. Very, very important. 
and repeat after me, I promise, I promise, promise to live my best possible life, to, to live, live my, my best, best possible life, life, to avoid all unnecessary drama, to, to avoid all unnecessary drama. Just stay, oh, hold on. Oh, we've got breaking news, people. Breaking, breaking, important news. And what news is that? Rich people are paying to get their kids into school. Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh. did you all realize that? Oh, my what God. a scandal. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay, yeah. I'm not exactly yeah. shocked. I'm like, not shocked it's not either. Shocked, but it's shocked, really, but it's, it's just terrible. Oh, my God. It's so bad. What I don't oh. understand is Felicity Huffman is married to William H. Macy, right. and only she got brought out in handcuffs. What well, was that about? Because he probably had no involvement whatsoever. I, listen, I can test I, that through personal experience. If I'm going down, <laughs> you all all going down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, there are those relationships that, like, just the mom. Yeah, mm -hmm. She does all the, you know, the kids. She do. does. Yeah, exactly. But there's no way they're dragging me out without him <laughs> shackled. Okay, we're That's going out. I'd like to know today mm -hmm. how many people in those colleges, you know, students were like, you know, I had the feeling that they didn't belong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, right, wow. right. You know, they, she's never handed exactly. anyone. Exactly. Oh they God. have That's standards. They yeah. have admission requirements right. for a reason. They do. You have to be bright. It's true. Right. And there's a lot. There's <laughs> a lot of you have to be bright. There's a lot of teachers who are like, I was how, wondering how they what they're going. Yeah. I thought that was a mess. It's, so it's anyway, terrible. so that is breaking news for yeah. those of you who didn't realize oh that America is so shocked. Goodness. People have been paying to get people into college yeah. and taking advantage for years. It's not a shock. But, but now we have the We're acting like it's shocked. Exactly. It's all over it, social know, media. But go figure. Anyway, let's finish our little all pledge. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We had to bring you that breaking news. We want to keep you going. Okay. I promise to stay away from messy and extra people. I promise, I promise to stay away from, from messy and extra people. To only clap back when necessary. To only clap back when necessary. To stay current and woke. To stay current. Current, current and woke. woke to look my absolute best as often as possible to look, to look my absolute best as often as possible and stephanie on the end show those shoes oh, i mean you are not. killing it here she knows how to look her absolute I best mean, right they are nice. and, and did you see the little Ooh. i mean look at those wow are those going to the supermarket shoes uh, <laughs> those are wash the dishes oh, okay the dishes oh, wow. kitchen shoes yeah. you gotta wash dishes wearing those shoes <laughs> yeah those kind of shoes you'd have a dishwasher <laughs> <laughs> those kind of shoes. You should have a dishwasher, a dryer, or put them back in the cabinet. Or I, mean, I do, anyway. but I still wash my dishes. Okay, well, good for you. I like that. Anyway, to um, oh. always sorry, this pledge is all off. I am so sorry. My angels are giving me ADD. It's kicking in. And to always look, I'm sorry, to always support those who support me. And to always support those who support me. So that is the Rude Ranger Law. Hopefully, words to live by. It'll make your day a little bit brighter. Um, Tim Mullaly, don't forget. Congratulations again on being Rude Ranger of the week and some of you out there from last week had some questions i hope that we have answers myself and the <laughs> angels let's see what's going on in terms of the rude ranger roll call let's do it oh my goodness Oh, okay. The episode was so good. Yes, last week was really good. Thank you, LaBelle Bell. Harriet Tubman was off the chain. I mean, she escaped she to freedom and came here and turned out. So, Harriet, we love you. What was next? Oh, love the shout out to Kathy. Thank you, Julie Montero Johnson. Happy birthday. Well, belated birthday to Kathy um, Donnelly. So, we appreciate that. What's next? Uh, the, yes, the Boom Boom Room. <laughs> um, shout out to John Kim, who was a guest last week. We were playing a game, and he knew that the term make it snow meant that when you're in the club, they want you to throw diamonds beyond making it rain. So John knew that right off the top of his head, which I only learned on the internet. And John is super quiet, so we don't know where you're making it snow, but I need, my, I need some skis. Let's make it happen. Um, what's up next? Oh, love Verdell, thank you. The suit was looking really sharp. That was amazing. It was a great suit. It was Hugo Ball. Beautiful. and they made me give it back the very next day. <laughs> uh, they, I mean, normally I get a few more days to keep it, but they're like, you will be back at 9 in the morning at Lord & Taylor Manhasset. Shout out to you. So, yes, you got your suit back. I mean, you know, go figure. It was, um, it was that good. Was not oh, the red wine. <laughs> I was trying. I, no, no red wine, no nothing. Um, and I actually didn't eat that whole day so I could fit into it. It was worth it. Anyway, uh, great show, Rudy Rue. Thank you, Leonard McCoy. We appreciate you for watching. And what's next? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, fat lives do matter. Oh, Jacob matter. De Jesus, shout out to Fat J, who was just, <laughs> I don't know, I love that, oh my god, you guys, I think we have one more, or is that it? I think that's it, my god. Um, we're going to take a very quick commercial break, and we will be back with some more of Rudy's Angels and more of Rudy's Room. We love you guys for watching, please like and share our show all over the place, guys.
San Pablo y hace más de 20 años me enamoré de una colombiana. Viajé a su país y conocí un estilo de café muy distinto, muy especial. Ahora tostamos cafés excelentes, con alturas y microclimas diferentes, resultado en una taza muy compleja y muy rica, un sabor nuevo en el mundo. Fue un éxito. And I even got to keep the girl. Do you have a book, either in your head or on your desk, just waiting to get out to anxious readers? Hi, I'm Stephanie Larkin, author, book developer, and head penguin at Red Penguin Books. We're a publishing company specializing in books of all genres and publishing in all formats, including digital, audible, and print book. From business books to romance, memoirs to mysteries, our authors have complete control over their books from start to print. We'll help get your book to booksellers all around. Major booksellers such as Amazon, Apple, Kobo, Walmart, even libraries and bookstores around the world. We believe in our authors. So call or email today to get your free publisher's packet to get started. Just visit us at redpenguinbooks.com and get your book out there and into the hands of your readers. At Red Penguin Books, you call all the shots. So call us today and turn your dreams into a reality. How much time, Bobby? It depends on how they're offering. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Rudy's Room here at Strong Island TV. I've got my three angels, Rodell, <laughs> Stephanie, and Stephanie. So, you ladies are fantastic uh, Strong Island personalities and television superstars, oh. is what I consider you. Um, I wanted to see, we'll play a little game, how well do you truly know your television facts? So, uh -oh. with that being said, I'm going to provide an interesting line from a popular TV show, and you get to honk your horn if you think you know which show it is. Okay. Are we ready? What's up first? Yeah. Ah, to the moon, Alice. Oh, oh, Verdell. <laughs> Honeymooners. Honeymooners is correct. Let's see. Yes, it. and you know what? You get a Rudy Buck. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yay. What's next? Right. Shut up, Rose. Good. Shush in the back. Shush in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh. The Golden Girls. Very good. <laughs> yes, the Golden Girls. Oh, Stephanie gets the pretty much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What's okay. up next? I've never seen such a great looking man. Oh, my goodness. Mm. For TV personalities, we're just trying to suck it out. Oh, come on. This one should be obvious. Such a great looking such man. Such a great looking man. Mm. Audience, wow. come on, Maya. Right. It's Rudy's room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, and I was getting ready to say exactly. that too. Uh, <laughs> you get ready to say that. Uh, I'll get my own Rudy buck. I'll buck. <laughs> get my own buck. <laughs> <It's> so funny. <laughs> What's up next? Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Go Verdell. Coach Hat. Very good. <laughs> How much TV do you watch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Coach Hat. Telly Savalas. Bring it, bald and sexy. Go on. What's up next? You ain't got no job, man. Martin. Very oh, good. Yay. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. 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 Very good. What's I up? obviously don't watch TV. That's okay. <laughs> What's up next? Donna Martin graduates. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go home and watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna and the answer what? is... It's Beverly Hills, 90210. Oh. Yes, yes. That's when Tori Spelling got drunk at the prom and then she couldn't graduate. And, uh, no, it's okay. Nope. It's a generational thing. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. Yes, exactly. All right, what's up next? Ooh, I'm still. Go ahead. Come. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> Rodell just stole it. All right, Stephanie gets a buck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up next? <laughs> uh, stifle it, Edith. Archie Bunker. Uh, there you go. Look at you. Are we going to give Stephanie a chance here? Stephanie <laughs> <laughs> did not know that watching TV was Because <laughs> <so much. laughs> you were busy reading. I knew you were busy reading. She was reading all the books. Reading. She was reading all the books. What's up next? <laughs> I'm coming to you, Elizabeth. 
I'm just giving up. <laughs> Verdell. Stanford and Son. Stanford and Son, yes. Ooh, Verdell stays in front of that TV. <laughs> That's where that education's coming from. I need to read a book. What's up next? Oh, my goodness. Uh, that Bobby's a big meanie. Bobby's mean. So mean. Rudy's room. <laughs> yes! It's Rudy's room. You all get money. <laughs> Look at Bobby in his boy band picture. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you got that. You got that. I'm feeling sorry for me here. Oh, my oh, God. Do we have any more? That is funny. <laughs> that was it. Oh, my God. Um, ladies. Tell everyone, Verdell, why should they watch your show? Well, um, you should watch Conversations with Verdell Jones mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm an educator at heart. Mm -hmm. So I want people to learn something when they watch my show. Okay. I want them to, I like to say people don't know what they don't know. Yes. So I think it's my, you know, my mission to mm -hmm. share information with people. Mm -hmm. So they learn something that they may not have known and they could take that and enrich their lives. Okay. So. Favorite guest? Favorite guest. Um, <laughs> You know what? I had all three of you on my show. Oh, so. oh, that was good. That was good. I want you to go in deep, but it's okay. You're supposed to say me, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Stephanie, why should they go between the covers? To read. <laughs> I was wondering where it was <laughs> Well, I always say our show has two missions. One is we love to feature authors and the whole process of writing. But really, we want to feature reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we want to make reading cool. Mm -hmm. That's right. something we want to do and get people excited. One of my favorite moments on the show mm -hmm. was having a guest who was an author. He writes, you know, like horror stuff and thrillers. Yeah. Right. And he was sitting on the couch with me, <laughs> covered with his tattoos. <laughs> and, and I said, so, you know, what book would you recommend? And he held up To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, wow. <laughs> like a classic. And he said, you know, I didn't read this in high school when I was supposed to, but yeah. I read it now, mm -hmm. and I'm really into it. I said, my God, you're like an advertisement for reading. Okay. I love that. I okay. love that we're getting people to actually pick up a book okay. and read it, because, okay. you know, a book, with all due respect to TV, yeah. is mm -hmm. it's, it's pictures in your mind. Okay. It's going to take you places that you've never been before. But what if they say if it's really good, they're going to make a movie of it anyway? The book is always better. Okay. It's always, always better. better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. It's always, always better. better. Yeah. Always better. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Always. It's so okay. true. And Stephanie? Or Farah? <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a name? No. No. This, no. Is, okay. this is not a wig. Oh, it's not. No. Oh, okay. So there's no name to this that. This is a weave. Oh, okay. you, ooh, you can't sew it, grow it. And you okay. guys know I got hair underneath it. Uh, you do. She does have hair. Right. She got Indian in her family. Just to family. say, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So people should watch um, uh, Make Up Your Life because we are empowering everyone, not just men and women, because mm -hmm. we're still looking for those those men out mm -hmm. here. To well, get there's Bobby in the back. Yeah, I know. We're going <laughs> to hit Bobby up. But, you know, it's a feel-good show. We want people to feel good about mm -hmm. themselves. Yes. So, you know, and looking good is feeling good. So, mm -hmm. you know, when people come into the salon or go into the makeup shop or go get mm -hmm. a new outfit, right. it definitely changes the yeah. way they look and feel about mm -hmm. themselves. So right. we want to give people confidence, Absolutely. you know, giving back confidence yeah. in, in, in people's lives. So mm -hmm. that's what our show was about. Yeah, people well, I will say, I love your show. I love, actually, I love all your shows mm -hmm. yours though in particular Stephanie though it just it, it takes a lot of emotion out of me because you're bringing in someone who's like yeah. you know they're all made over and they tell you about their drug addiction or they've like battled their cancer yeah, and I'm sitting home with my laughing cow cheese and my triscuits <laughs> I'm crying yeah. and I like I can't recover yeah. and I'm like it's hard to come back from that sometimes so it's amazing what you guys do the transformations are incredible yeah. thank you um, have you ever had anybody come in and you're like I just I, I can't help you <laughs> I, I you know oh yeah okay. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> so like you send them down the street, you give them a paper bag, what do you do? What do you do? I send them down the street. <laughs> send them down the street. So and so we down the street can help you out. Really? Wow. Really? wow. How bad is bad? Like wh where do you where's the line? <laughs> you know what? I think everybody can be helped. You okay. know, in but some way, if you're right. looking, in some way. right? <laughs> Verdell said in some way. <laughs> if you're looking for, mm -hmm. you know, a weave, or, or you're mm -hmm. looking for 
you you want to be look like Beyonce or but you come in like Whoopi you, Goldberg right it's not <laughs> gonna happen like, <laughs> so I no like to be real yeah no no shade to Whoopi no shade no to Whoopi shade it's just, they're just no no it, it, just, no, it just saying just saying you know just no. like Bobby will never be me but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> no tea no shade <laughs> go on okay no. go ahead but you know. Everyone can be helped. Definitely, yes. everyone can okay. be helped. Mm -hmm. We try to help as many people, as many people as we possibly can. But okay. there are some people that you know mm -hmm. they need a little bit, you know, a little bit extra, maybe a little plastic surgery. Oh. You know, <laughs> she went right under the knife. <laughs> There are some fuckas. Listen. There are some fuckas. Listen. Some people they need a little nip tuck. They do. A little, little, little nip tuck. <laughs> Curl. Don't be Curl. afraid of the nip tuck. They need more. They need, more. Okay. They need a little more. <laughs> okay. And you know, it's a preference, you know? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, if you need some nipping and tucking, go down the street. <laughs> Don't go to Stephanie's. So. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, my other Stephanie, do you have a favorite book? I mean, you Ooh. interview so many and I talk do. about them. Yeah. And, and, you know, my favorite book changes every week okay. because mm. I keep reading, reading. so many okay. different yeah. authors. And Is there one that your people would be surprised that you, like, like to read? I don't know, Karma Sutra, so, whatever. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, <I'm just, laughs> like, he yeah. really wants me to just I to go on it. It's under the covers. That He's no. just like, uh -huh. right, take No, that but, like, like, but like that or, like, Hollywood Wives. Like, what? Like, there must be some trashy Harlequin romance. it's very funny you say that because I read so much... I read like yeah. four books a week. What? I do. Wow. Because like book books or the clip notes? No, like book books. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll often have With like pictures? three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I must admit, since we have three author yeah. guests on a week yeah. generally. Yeah. Last week, a lot of books. they were all children's books. I was oh, okay. That was easy. Okay, I, I could do that. I could do that. 14 pages okay. with pictures. Right. Done. Yes. Okay. You know, sometimes it's like big fat books. Yeah. But I have to admit, yeah. when I'm on vacation, I am so about the trash because okay. I read. Mm, there we go. <laughs> right. Because I read so many. Yeah. Heavy. Solid heavy yeah. books. Absolutely. So the second we go on vacation, well, first of all, mm -hmm. I'm like with the People magazine, the Us. I want all the celebrity trash. Mm -hmm. wow. That to me okay. means vacation, mm -hmm. and I'm reading <laughs> smut. Okay. Because okay. I want garbage, like okay. poured in. We're gonna get That's into your smut in just a minute, but oh. I believe we have a caller. Caller, are you there? <laughs> caller, are you there? Caller? I guess not. I guess Back not. to your smut. Back, Back to, to your smut. smut. <laughs> what, like, what's your smuttiest thing? <laughs> you see, I told you, you want I know. I want the dirt. I, I want to go I in. Yeah. The okay, exactly. Well, if I'm on vacation, I want short smut. Gotcha. Want short okay. Smut. I want short smut. Short I want to be able to, you know, okay. read it in a couple of hours and I'm well, done with it. Okay. And, and God bless those little, I like paper books, but, yeah. you know, it's so nice when it's those. Kindle things. Oh yes. And you just press the button at the end and they okay. give you another one. Right. Oh, okay. right? Yeah. That's great. It's like yeah. boom. So the smut just never Did ends. You like it just keeps going. Boom. Okay. Because in real life I'm sitting here with the big fifteen yeah. syllable right. words. Non -smut. And, you know, it's yeah. It's it's clean, mm -hmm. it's literature. It's not smutty. It's not smutty. <laughs> so to me, vacation, you're not gonna catch me okay. reading the classics on vacation. Gotcha. Okay. It's gotcha. Just smut. Okay. <laughs> Do you at least cover it with like a classic yeah. cover yeah. while you're reading the smut? Ooh. Now the thing with the Kindles, mm -mm. I heard See? that the Kindles really came out big when Fifty Shades right. came nobody out. Oh, yeah. Because nobody yeah. could nobody, tell what you were that's reading. Right. That's right. Oh. That's when they See? really, you know, all okay. of a sudden you could hide your you book. Could hide the there book. you go. I know. You Look know? at that. So, yeah. We're only five shades here, and we got to take a commercial <laughs> break. i like to see my Kindle. <laughs> uh, mm. There we go. Rude Rangers fan out and get Stephanie's Kindle. <laughs> Put that on the Facebook feed. We'll be right back after these messages with more Rudy's Room. <laughs> That's right, keep it going, keep it going. From sex cookies to vegetable soap. Listen, we, we got to keep gotta this right. Okay, well, well, gotcha. diversify. Okay, it. and then you have donuts or a donut. Oh yeah, what? donut holes. Drop. Donut what? Donut, donut holes. Like a like a garden tool like hoe. A, like a hoe. Like a hoe. Like that hoe, hoe over hoe. there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. What kind of hoes you got, yes. real quick? We got drunken hoes. We got high hoes. We got the regular hoes and the old hoes. <laughs> the old hoes. <laughs> What's a drunken hoe? My <laughs> ex. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Cyclo. Let's wait to Mrs. Cyclo. Hey. Hey.
Shame. 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 Welcome back to Rudy's Room here at Strong Island TV. We've got Verdell, we've got Stephanie, we've got my other Stephanie, and on the phone, we have Ian. Ian, uh, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Brooklyn, Rudy. Oh, nice. Which part of Brooklyn? Uh, Bedside. Oh, mm, do or die. Bedside. Although, it's, not, it's really not do or die. Not, no, not no. There's all these cafes, <laughs> there's boutiques, there's no, real fancy. Anymore. Anyway, so Ian, why are you calling tonight? What's going on? Well, I was referred by um, Tara. She's, um, you know, our mutual friend that's doing the uh, African American Women uh, in Cinema um, Film Festival. Okay. Uh, it starts tomorrow, next week, uh, a couple of weeks from now, mm. the 27th to the 30th. Okay. And um, I made. I'm in the business of uh, produce writing and producing some uh, educational films. Social, More education. Social educational. Mm -hmm. Okay. Targeted towards uh, young people. Very nice. So um, she's been uh, very supportive. Spoke highly of you. I think you guys probably. I think you screened a couple of them at least. I hope we do every Saturday night. We have the uh, Strong Island uh, Saturday Night movie. So yeah, we've shown a couple of those uh -huh. films, which is great. So tell and us, like, what's what? Tell us about one of your films that you've actually put together. I want to hear a little bit about that while well, we have a couple minutes. Okay, one one of them is um, especially pretty near and they're all pretty near and dear to my heart. But mm -hmm. there's one I think um, you know everybody can identify with. It's called respect her. I don't know if you remember that one. It's a, a piece that addresses the issue of, um, you know, the use, probably the overuse of the B word, you know, directed towards yeah. our women. Yep. And um, what we try to do is uh, open up a conversation. As with all the films that I make, um, <laughs> we're not, I'm not saying that we're going to uh, create some um, sea change in behaviors and attitudes. But it's, it's um, at least, you know, we, uh, we get it out there and hopefully be able to Good. open up a conversation, okay. you Excellent. know, about this, um, you know, uh, respect for women. Excellent. Ian, where what, can they uh, see the film? Where, where can people access it? Well, right now it's not in uh, distribution. It's, um, okay. you know, it's not in uh, public uh, distribution. It can be accessed on uh, Vimeo. Okay. You know, Excellent. At, at some point, I'd, um, you know, I'm hoping to get a distribution deal. Um, my market is primarily, uh, you know, schools, libraries, okay. anywhere, any, anywhere in any place where you know we can reach okay. um, young people, teenagers, um, adolescents, young mm -hmm. adults. You know. Okay. Well, teachers. Ian, before we go, yeah. uh, how do people reach you? How do they keep in touch with what you're doing? Are you on Facebook, Instagram? Do you do the Twitter? What, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitter, but, you know, um, I'm just starting to ramp up in social media. Okay. Um, I can take calls on my um, cell, you know, preferably. Um, my what's number the number? Is 718-614-614. Yep. Excellent. Well, Ian, thank you so much for calling. We hope you'll stay tuned to the rest of the show. And uh, please keep in touch with us. We want to hear about all the great things you're doing. Thanks and thank have a great you. night, okay? All right. Ladies, um, you guys have watched the show enough, and we all know each other well enough to know that I really do believe there's some special people out there. <laughs> you know? I love the way he says that. It's true. No, they're too nosy, too needy, too political, too petty, too You're cray cray. All, <laughs> all your clients. Yes. Basically, they're just too much, and we have our little team too much, and someone's going to win our lovely little pig oh. on a pedestal. Yes. So let's see who we nominate mm. this week. Who is up first? Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, you know, Jennifer Lopez and A-Rod, yes, they are a bit too much, but, uh, you know, she's been down the aisle more times in a vacuum cleaner, so I think maybe they need to slow it down. Congratulations on the engagement, though. Yes, we do yeah. appreciate that. That rock is, <laughs> that rock is something. Yeah. That rock is something. Now, what kind of wedding gift would you get her? 
I could send your kid to college. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just showing up. I mean, really, yeah. what does she yeah. need? Well, you know, well the other part I is, mean, I mean, yeah. are you sure it's going to last? Like, no. I don't know. I give it five I, years no, from beginning think, to no. from now to the. I yes. think it's going to no, last. No, it's not. No, it's not. I nope. really do. No. You do? No. Because they're two Leos. No. Okay. It's not going to mm. last. No, I think no. it's going to last. You think it's going to last? Okay. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Okay. Done. Oh, no, we don't have to talk about that. I think it's going to last. I think she met her match. Okay. Well, uh, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll bet you one Rudy buck. We'll see what happens. Right. Who else is nominated for Team Too Much? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, you guys. Um, you know what? I did not know she was sick. Did you all realize oh, that? I saw that somewhere in the had some Yeah, apparently, sick. yeah, she was sick. She had sepsis and pneumonia, a septic really? shock and pneumonia. And so it was really crazy that she was ill. I didn't realize. We did all this talk about where's Wendy Williams. Whoopi right, Goldberg we're, missing we're, all this time. <laughs> oh, man. Who knew? Who oh, knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, I guess. Too funny. They tell me we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christine Dixon, the Harriet Tubman actress from, from Manhattan. Harriet Tubman, how are you? You were the star of last week's show. We love you, Harriet. Thank you, thank you. What's new with you? Are you still on the Freedom Trail? What are you doing? <laughs> Honey, I managed to pause the plantation passage for a few minutes just so I could find a payphone on the plantation and call you, honey. Where did you find a payphone, Harriet? <laughs> you don't have cell service? Uh, Verizon's got some good deals. No, I don't have any plantation <laughs> smartphones. Okay, wow. You don't know what I had to go through, yes. Uh, but mm. babies, yesterday I made history. Okay. What'd you do? Uh, I, I really can't talk about it too much, but let's just say okay. that it's, um, it, it's big, and even after I transition on from this world, I will leave a legacy behind, and the oh. unveiling may take place, I believe, approximately May or June of this year. Down okay. That, that, that. That's all I can speak about, baby. Well, that is wonderful. Now, will it be like in the press? Will we know what you're doing, Harriet? Like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, yes, it will be in the press. Okay. Um, it's not taking place in the tri-state, but it will be in the press, and I'll definitely I'll okay. give you an invitation. I'll well, I want an invitation. Like now, I don't have to wait in the water to get to wherever you're gonna be, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. What happened? I don't have to wade in the water to go to wherever this invitation is gonna send me, right? No, baby, my horse and buggy will pick you. Okay, up. I, listen, <laughs> I can do a horse and buggy, Harriet. Listen, send the carriage for me. I am loving. It. Harriet, are you on Twitter? Do you have the Instagram? What do you do? Uh, I'm Harriet Tubman herself on Twitter. I'm not Twitter. On Instagram okay. and on Facebook and Twitter, child. I'm still learning how to tweet, baby, tweet, baby. <laughs> tweet. Um, well, Harriet, we love you for calling in. This is great. Wow. What kind of things do you tweet yeah. about? <laughs> what I tweet about? Yeah. Like hide in the bushes? You know, like what, what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking yeah. about? Just John Tubman, but men. Oh, oh you tweet pain, about men. The hardest. How many men have you had, Harriet? Ooh. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm sorry, Harriet. I'm sorry. We'll talk about that during the next commercial break. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Well, Harriet, we appreciate that you called in. You are fantastic. We love you so much. How can people find you again? Let's give all your information. Harriet Tubman herself on Instagram and on Facebook. On Twitter, I don't know if it's Harriet Tubman herself. Or Dixon, Christine, and the number three. A child, I haven't been on Twitter in so long. Okay. Well, you've been hiding and freeing people. <laughs> you don't have time to be on Twitter. Lord, the Harriet, before yeah. we go away, is there anybody, we were talking about team too much. Is there anyone that you think deserves the pig on the pedestal? Who's too much? I know last time you said it was, I think, Pearl Bailey, but who else is too much? Uh, let's see. Pearl Bailey was too much. Um, Hazel Scott. Oh, Hazel Scott, that was too good. Too much. Yep. Anybody else out there? Mm. Uh, Esther Jones was too much, but in a fabulous way. You know, she was a that was Betty Boop, right? Who, Betty Boop, yes, yeah, sugar, but she was too much in a good way, sugar. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Was there anyone that was too much in a bad way? Well, you know, Harriet doesn't like to speak mm. negatively. Oh, about okay. You ain't wanting to gossip, like so I ain't heard that from you, Harriet. <laughs> 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 
I can DM you. Who was me? Oh, yes, Google me. DM. Look at you, Harriet. She's on a payphone now, but she's going to DM me later. <laughs> I like that. Oh, man. Harriet, have a great night. Thank you for calling in. We love you. You are too much. Wow. <laughs> See, Verdell, educational. educational. Harriet Tubman. Exactly. Use a I, I think that's amazing. She wants to write a book. Send she does. Now, Stephanie, Harriet could use your help. That hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, not, not the, well, no, yeah, the, we, Harriet, Harriet. <laughs> okay. I don't think she and Madam C.J. Walker were getting along. So. <laughs> They, might, they could be a little something, you know. <laughs> you might be able to intervene and be the middle person in there. <laughs> Bring her on over. Okay. Oh do you goodness. use a hot comb? Yes, I do. You do? I absolutely do. Really? Uh -huh. You warm it on the stovetop? Like, what do you do? No, we are <laughs> No? <laughs> we are not primitive. No. No. You don't do that? No, we love the stovetop. Okay. We have an oven. Okay. <laughs> Verdell knows what I'm talking about. Verdell knows. <laughs> And some of you out there watching do too. <laughs> yeah, we grew up with the stove. That's right, with the stove. Mama just, no. Mm -mm, no. Professional. Okay. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Stephanie's like, I don't know what they're talking about. She's like, oh, I'm out of this one. It's like the TV talk. It is the TV talk. She's right, lost. Right. I should have gotten a cheat sheet. Oh, I need the cliff notes. Need the cliff notes. <laughs> oh, God. We did not get to do Say What, um, but I am curious. Curious. So, Miss Stephanie, on the end, what would you tell, if you can go back in time, what would you tell your younger self, knowing what you know now about life? Ooh. Don't date that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. Stay, Stay away? away? Okay. Okay. How bad was he? He was bad. Okay. Well, there we go. Stay away from him. Yeah, I think I'd tell my younger self that same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, now that you're saying it, oh, I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. Verdell, don't please don't say time. that because I like your husband. No, please don't say no, that because no, no, I like no, your no, husband. No, no. I mean, I like hey, my husband. Hey, Jeremiah. Yeah, like, you know. <laughs> they were high school sweethearts. High school sweethearts. Oh, yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So we'd have a whole other kind of show <laughs> <laughs> if she said that. She said that. My younger self? To save more money. Know mm -hmm. the importance of saving money. And That's true. what I would tell my younger yes. self. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I agree. I like that. All right. <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break, come back with a little more Rudy's Room. You're watching Strong Island TV. Thank you, guys. Harriet Tubman on the payphone. <laughs> <laughs> only, the, only this show. Only this show. Smoke signals. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy, That's right. Rudy, Keep it going. Keep Rudy, it going. Rudy, Rudy. from sex cookies to vegetable soap. Listen, we, <laughs> we got to keep gotta this, right. Off the board. Well, okay. this right. Well, keep this right. Well, diversify. Okay. It. And then you have donuts or donut Oh, yeah. Donut what? holes. Drop. Donut what? Donut, donut holes. Like a like a garden tool like hoe? A, like a hoe. Like a hoe. Like that hoe, hoe over hoe. there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. What kind of hoes you got yes. real quick? We got drunken hoes. We got high hoes. We got the regular hoes and the old hoes. <laughs> the old hoes? <laughs> What's a drunken hoe? My ex. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Cyclone. Let's wait to Mrs. Cyclone. Yay! Shame, shame, shame.
welcome back to Rudy's room. I, of course, am Mr. Rudy. We've got my three fantastic angels here. <laughs> Verdell, Stephanie, and Stephanie. Oh, ladies, we've got a viewer that needs some help. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell you. You're in the helping business there for a Mr. Rudy is nosy as hell, so these letters are always intriguing. <laughs> but there just comes a point where it's like, come on. All right, let's do it, though. Advice hour. <laughs> let's start it up. <laughs> that is so dramatic. I it love it. Great. I love it's it. It's the greatest. Okay, you know what? I want to wear my crown if we're going to do this. <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> Dear Rudy, one year ago I started dating what I thought was a great guy. He's the first man I found a real connection with after going through a messy breakup five years ago. He's perfect in every way, and what we have is so strong, or so I used to think. He's moving out of the country in a few months, so we decided to keep things casual because of the bad timing with him leaving, or so I thought again. A couple of months later, I found out that he has been in a long-term and long-distance relationship with another man for <gasps> years. Whoa. I've always thought something was <laughs> off with how secretive he was. Mm, clearly. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't ended it. I know I should have the minute I found out. He doesn't know that I know about his boyfriend. Oh. I am conflicted because we, when we're together, it really is just the two of us. We make plans. I've been visiting him there several times. Times and he visits me every time he comes back to the country. Do you think I should confront him? What do I do when I got <laughs> what do I do when I got into this unknowingly as the other woman? And for some reason I'm still holding out hope that he might come to his senses and choose me. Do you think I should still be with him even though he's a liar? Signed, conflicted in center point. You are conflicted. <laughs> Verdell, what do we think? I mean, really, there's no uh, Right? There's no conversation uh, here. It's kind of <laughs> heavy. Heavy is the head of he who wears the crown. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, let that go, because he's right? just going to continue to lie to you. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. duh. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's picked a team, but, but these days, I don't know. Well, you know, I mean, right. Yeah. yeah you know, but yeah. still, the, yeah. I think the lying is more so Correct. than anything. I mean, whether you know? it was a man or whether a woman, it was a right. woman, it just lied. Yeah. 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 Right. And he liar. didn't just lie once. Right. Mm -hmm. I, right. It, it wasn't like an accident. I was drunk. <laughs> right. I no. 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 He's been carrying it on for a long time. Right. Yeah, yeah. No. 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 Mm -hmm. You've been second place and a <laughs> distant second. A uh, distant <laughs> right. second and right. out of the right. country second. Yeah, it's not going to change. Okay, so Steph also says leave it alone. Absolutely. I mean, they're not going to listen to us. No, because they might not. People think what they want to think. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do what they want to do, they want to right? Do. That is true. And yeah. people also get stuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because like she, she was saying in her letter, she was burned before. It's been five years. Yeah. She finally she feels found the somebody. connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, we want to believe what we want to believe. Right. Yeah. That That's is true. true. Yeah. That is very, very but, true. But, you know, take off the blinders. Uh, yeah. Clearly, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, so you don't think that there's any chance he's going to choose her? Verdell's <laughs> 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 just laughing. <laughs> he, made, he made his choice. He made his choice. He made his choice. choice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, made his choice. Well, now he's choosing yeah. both of them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. That's true. He's <laughs> having his cake and eating it, too. <laughs> With a side of pie. Right. <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, if that's what she wants, is like a yeah, little right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, right. it's right there. But, yeah, but it's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. so Stephanie Farah, what do you say? Yeah, I, I say dump him. Just dump him. Oh, get you your life. All kinds of get stuff in this. Get your life, girl. Get your life. Make up your life, right? Make up, life. Make up your life. Yeah. <laughs> you must hear some good stuff in the salon, yeah. huh? Oh yeah. Oh, oh really? I can't even imagine. Yeah. yeah see, I need to come in there with my tape recorder. That's a whole new advice segment. Yeah, my clients watch, so I, you know, I don't, I don't tell their business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You gotta tell. Nobody watches. Sure this show. <laughs> <laughs> How many viewers you got out there? Lips are sealed. No, lips are sealed. Come on, Stephanie. We can talk. <laughs> Just I'll DM you. You, DM yeah. <laughs> you and Harry are talking. Right. 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 On the payphone. Right. <laughs> so you can't trace the number back. No. The number back. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a mess. Oh, oh my God. Um, so do people really sit in the chair? Because I hear that sometimes you guys are like psychiatrists. They tell yeah, you absolutely. everything. Yeah. Everything. Really? Is, um, okay, without giving up the names, what's an example of something so shocking that you found out? <gasps> oh, wow. Even in the business of being yes, so no one's going to know. I mean, unless it's real specific. 
Come on. That someone's husband was was sleeping with another client. Oh. Ooh. Yikes. Were there appointments back to back? <laughs> right. <at> <laughs> 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 or do you have to like have them come in on different days? Right. right. You know? mm -hmm. It's one time they were in the salon at the same oh, time. Oh no. Were they both getting Ooh. ready for a special night out? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give us more. This Give is the more. thing. One was my wow. client, yeah. and an, and the other was another yes. stylist client. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So were y'all competing to make them both look better? No. <laughs> I was. Listen. That I is, didn't want to have anything to do right. with it. Okay. That, that I really messy. didn't. That was really? very yeah. messy. Okay. Because the, the women didn't know, correct? Right. No, the women did not know. Okay, but you all knew. But we knew. <gasps> wow. Mm -hmm. How did you all know? <laughs> well, I hope they know. Did you, see him, the like, <laughs> did you see him at the Home Depot? Like, what happened? <laughs> we had mutual friends. Oh, okay. Oh. We had mutual friends, and it was oh, it was oh, it was so bad. Really? Really? That is bad. It was so bad. Okay. Did they did they did they get busted? Was yeah, the cheating exposed? Ended, ended up finding out really? about it, okay. and yeah. you know, I no longer service that client okay. because when oh, she no. found out, she felt like I should have said something, said to, something her. to her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you, did well, did you want to say something? I, I didn't want to get involved. No, you don't want to get involved with that. I didn't okay. want to get involved. You know what? If you would have said you something, don't want to she, would have, she wouldn't have believed yeah. she would, right. she would have quit you anyway. Yeah. anyway. She wouldn't right. believe yeah. you, and she'd quit she'd you anyway. She'd offended. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole That's thing. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, so you never messy. thought, like, hey, why don't you meet me at, like, 5th and 3rd <laughs> at 2.30? <laughs> no, it, it was funny, because at times we would go out and see her with the guy, and, and yeah. it's like, wow. Wow, does she really? Does not know that he's dipping and this other person? Like, Really? Amazing. It was Not messy. Cool. That is messy. It was messy. That Very is messy. real messy. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, would that make a good book? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it would. Right? Because we yeah. could do confessions Ooh, from the chair. That would be a whole oh, yeah. oh, series. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. We have like that's a whole a thing. Idea. Set yeah. In the salon. All the stylists yeah. contribute yeah. their yeah. stories. Yeah. That would be yeah. really yeah. good. That's an anthology. Uh, completely. Yeah. See? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Right? Like change all there the names go. to protect the right. guilty. Yeah. Exactly. Well, if we don't okay. like them, we could keep them the same. If we don't like them, we don't like them. Yeah. I mean, I think that's like right book to movie. I mean, like, yeah. Right, what do yeah. you think? That's wow. great. Who do you think should star in that? Hmm. Well, J-Lo. J-Lo. <laughs> 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 okay. Yes, we're happy for you, Jay. <laughs> Who's going to play you in the movie? Who's going to play me? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe another 20 pounds of Beyonce could play. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Not with the Goldberg? No. No, she said no. No. She said no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no shade, Whoopi. I no love shade. you. No I do love you. No shade, Whoopi. No shade, Whoopi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stephanie, who would play you in a movie? Ooh. I'm terrified now. I, I need your help. You can first. be Beyonce. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's America. Could, could I do Beyonce? It's okay. Why not? It's America. Absolutely. Yeah, it's America. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> and no shade to Whoopi, but really. <laughs> but, Whoopi but you know play. what? She's an Academy Award winning actress. She is. She is. She is. Right. Put a little makeup on her. And, you know, <laughs> and if she was in a movie, she deserves it. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Who would you like to play you in a movie? Ooh. Who, should, who do I want to play me? Well, if I'm gonna, you know, have Whoopi, I might as well have Hugh Grant. I mean, I might as well reach just <laughs> Let's go all out and see how well they can. Okay, wow, well, okay. How well I think care. Hugh Grant's more of a stretch than Whoopi, but hey, okay. I, I don't know, man. Listen, okay, look at that, okay. Uh, Verdell. Who's gonna play you in the movie? Um, I, I've discussed this, uh, Ooh. you know, already. Oh. Like, this oh, like this. She was prepared. You know, yeah. we're, we're, we're movie people we also. Okay, exactly. People. Yes. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Like the, the, the blackish Tracy Ellis Ross or like the um, girlfriend? The blackish Tracy okay. Ellis Ross. Okay. Okay. Look yeah. at that. Wow. Now, does Diana get to be your mother? Uh, my mother's awesome, so, okay, no, so no, but okay. I do like Diana. Right. I, just, I, I mean, <laughs> you're going she for is, it. She's a diva. Yeah, yeah, she's a diva. Okay, she is a diva. She is a diva. You got to watch out though with that Diana. She'll steal the spotlight, know. you know? And it's my mom's birthday today. Happy Woo! birthday, mom! Yay! 69 years uh, young. Good for her. <laughs> Go on, mom. What are we doing for her birthday? Anything fun? We are having dinner Sunday. It's okay. my father's birthday, the 18th. Are you cooking? No. Okay, I was going to say. My I'm mom like, is. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> What's 
cooked my dad's birthday too, yeah. so you know. Yeah. Well, I knew Verdell was not down with no, the cooking. Not down she with does cooking. cook, but does not her thing. There's so. a okay. phone. Yeah, I know, but no. You can make a phone. My dad, phone. no, my dad would not go for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I make phone calls. I make phone calls. Okay. I love that. Okay, good. So you just have to show up. I, that's right. I like. Well, that's a good deal. That's a very good deal. Very, very good. And Stephanie, rumor has it that you are a glam mom. Is that true? Yes. Very oh, nice. How old? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my little diva is eight years oh. old. Oh, wow. Yes. What Ms. kind Chloe. of hair does she have? <laughs> oh, she's got long, curly, okay. like, oh, her hair's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's her wig collection like? It must be amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Not yet. No, no, wigs. Yet. no, no yet. wigs? No. None? She's not going to need a wig. No, I know. But I mean, she could just change it up. No, no China doll, no blonde. I, I, no. I'm, I'm trying to have her embrace her curl. Okay, like, you got know. you. Okay. I, I want her to love what she has. Got you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, well, I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. We're going to take a very quick commercial break and come back with the final moments of Rudy's room. Stay tuned, you guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> or on your desk just waiting to get out to anxious readers? Hi, I'm Stephanie Larkin, author, book developer, and head penguin at Red Penguin Books. We're a publishing company specializing in books of all genres and publishing in all formats, including digital, audible, and print books. From business books to romance, memoirs to mysteries, our authors have complete control over their books from start to print. We'll help get your book to booksellers all around. Major booksellers such as Amazon, Apple, Kobo, Walmart, even libraries and bookstores around the world. We believe in our authors. So call or email today to get your free publisher's packet to get started. Just visit us at redpenguinbooks.com and get your book out there and into the hands of your readers. At Red Penguin Books, you call all the shots. So call us today and turn your dreams into a reality. Shutting us down yet again. <laughs> Bobby is so mean, but that's okay. We're not upset. Um, ladies, one more time, tell these folks how they can find you and give them a little something about your shows. So, sure. Verdell. Conversations with Verdell Jones, Thursdays at 7 o'clock here on Strong Island Television. Uh, you know, we share, inform, and enlighten and teach you something that you may not have known. We have awesome guests, so make sure you tune in. I love it. Fantastic. Between the covers TV .com. We're here on Wednesday nights at seven at seven o'clock, right? And we are the show for readers and writers and lovers of books. So whether you love books now, well, trust me, you'll love books then because we've got <laughs> some fabulous books and authors every week to get you started. So do you ever do smutty books? For you, we'll do smutty books. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're going to do a smutty book. Excellent. Perfect. So, and we'll have Rudy on and we'll do smutty books. We'll do smutty books. There we go. There we go. We'll have to have like paper bag covers on your old books. We can Just do that. Just for me. They love it. You got it. Okay. Stephanie. Make up your life. 
<clears throat> hosted by Studio 1031. 8 p.m. is right here on Sundays at Paradise Studios, and we give deserving men and women makeovers. Yes. There we go. Before we go, um, you guys took a poll, and I asked you each one word that you think people would use to describe you. So, Stephanie, on the end, what was the one word? I don't God, remember, I but sassy. I don't remember either. Ooh, sassy, sassy, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, Stephanie? To describe me. Oh, Ooh, I, don't I don't know. know. Energetic, friendly, perky. I hope <laughs> you so. got a lot of words. I okay. Don't, I don't know. I hope so. Uh, Verdell? I, I don't remember that question. <laughs> uh, 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 what would people say about me? They would say that I am fabulous. Uh, You're fabulous. You are fabulous. That too. But you said compassionate. Uh, compa there I did you say go. Woo! I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I did. What I did, did I say? <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. But before we go, since it's my show, one word to describe me before we go. Stephanie. Fabulous. I fabulous. love it. Fabulous. Awesome. Oh, amazing. That's the word I use. <laughs> Thank you for watching Rudy's Room. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Right. Keep it going. Keep it going.